Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my April favourites and I filmed this yesterday. It was supposed to go up for Sunday's video and I just really wasn't happy with it. I have messed around with some of my camera settings, you might be able to tell, and I've made things a little bit brighter so hopefully this is going to work and it's going to look a little bit better. This month I have really really been enjoying quite a lot of different products and usually I, ca I struggle to choose things and think of what it is that I've really been enjoying. There'll only be a couple of things. This month there has been so much that I want to share with you and I just want to I don't know, I just, there's just been some a certain amount of products this month that I've just used religiously, that I've really enjoyed using, that I've literally been making notes on my phone, like I need to put this in my favourites because I've been enjoying it so much. So I'm gonna get straight into the video and I'm gonna start off with skincare. So this month there are two skincare items that I want to share with you and the first one is something, they're both things that I think have made a real difference with my skin. You might remember in one of my previous videos that I mentioned that I've just been rubbish at morning skincare routines lately. It was literally a case of me getting in the shower, using a cleansing balm all over my face, getting out and putting moisturizer on. And sometimes I didn't even do the balm step. So it, and I just used a cleansing wipe. So so it really was non-existent at um, probably in, like throughout March, just really didn't have a morning skincare routine. And then I was like, okay, we need to change this up, start getting up a little bit earlier, spending more time, focusing on your skin because I just feel like makeup sits better when my skin's better. So I feel like there's been two things that I've introduced and used regularly as part of my skincare routine this month. And the first one is La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc. And this is a spray toner. It actually says it's a zinc sulfate solution. It says it's cleansing and soothing. So I do think that this can be used in so many different ways. I use it as my toning step. So once I've used a balm in the shower or a cleansing Sometimes I use like a cleansing lotion um, over the sink. Then I'll go in with this just to add moisture after my eye cream. It just seems to calm everything down. It brings everything together. It just makes me feel like, it makes my skin feel so much more hydrated. Do you think that this one works like really, really well? And I would definitely recommend it if you're after something like this. And then the other thing that I think I owe to my skin being a lot better and more hydrated is a moisturizer. And this is by Embryo Lease. This is the Lay Cream Concentrate. And I've mentioned this in videos before. I have used it and said that I couldn't really comment on whether I really liked it or not because I've not used it that much. Last month I used this every single day as part of my morning skincare routine. It, you don't need a lot of it, a small amount goes a long way. It's not scented, it's very, very inoffensive and it just, it sinks in beautifully and I think it works so well underneath makeup. I bought this as a recommendation from Sam Chapman who says that it's like a makeup artist cult product to use underneath makeup and I can see why. It just goes to a beautiful tacky texture so that it just, it works really nicely as a primer as well as a moisturizer. And I just really have been enjoying this. I think that this is one of those products that is just so normal. There's nothing fancy about it, but it does the job and it just works. So moving on from skincare to makeup, there have been, again, so many things that I've wanted to share with you this month. And the first one, is like I'm so excited about all of these products this month and this one is probably one of my favorite things that I've got to talk to you about. This is the Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer. I bought this quite a while ago. I am such a stickler for buying things and putting them in a drawer and not using them. Especially when it's a higher end product, I just feel like it's so luxury that I just don't want to use it on a daily basis and then I find that I don't end up using things. So this was one of those products and I pulled it out of my drawer maybe at the beginning of March, um, no, the end of March maybe, beginning of April, and used it a couple of times and then one day I was sat and I just thought, actually this makes my skin look so fresh and so glowing but not in a bad way, it just looked really healthy. And then I put obviously foundation over the top of it and it just comes through so beautifully under foundation. It's more of a pearlescent sheen than it is kind of like specks of glitter. It's so beautiful. It makes my makeup, my foundation go on so well and it makes my makeup last really, really nicely, as well as making my skin look so fresh and dewy and glowy. Lately, I have been 
not really wanting such a matte finish for my foundations. I think that when it gets to this time of year, I like to look a bit like I like to make my skin look a little bit more fresh and dewy. It just does an amazing job, and it's probably my favourite primer that I've ever used, and would highly, highly recommend it if you're after something like this. This next item is something that I was recommended by another blogger. I mentioned it in a haul video, I think. It was Alice Spake from Annie Wright's Beauty, and this, she said, is one of her favourite foundations, and I've never used anything from the brand 17 before, and it's just one of those brands that are at the cheaper end, and something that I just always seem to walk past. This foundation is, I think it was £4.89. It is honestly one of my favourite foundations from the drugstore, from the High Street Boot Super Drug that I've ever tried. I'm wearing it today and I haven't had to set it with powder. I can literally go in with one layer of this and I don't have to conceal any redness. It's such a full coverage but it doesn't look cakey and when it wears away it doesn't leave like patches around my nose or anywhere on my skin. It just wears off really beautifully. I can't honestly believe that this foundation is around the £5 mark from a brand that I've never really tried before and I can't believe that I've only just found it. And this is the 17 Stay Time Up to 25 Hour Wear Foundation. And it's also got SPF 25 in it, which I think is amazing. Um, it says it's a full cover foundation. It definitely is. It's got one of these kind of like twist pump caps, which I think is amazing for the price that you pay. I'm just honestly blown away by this foundation. I've used it every single day this past month. I've not wanted to use anything else. It's just so, so good. And I can't believe... I just can't believe it. Because if I'd not seen that on Alice's blog, I would never have picked this up. Um... It's amazing. It's so, so good and it's so affordable. I just can't even go over it. So this next product is something that I have, again, been using all month and I've really noticed the difference and that it works so well. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. So I find that I need to wear an eyeshadow primer. I, If I don't wear an eyeshadow primer, my it kind of, my eyeshadow creases quite easily and it also wears off quite quickly. When I use an eyeshadow primer, it helps things last a lot longer and it prevents creasing and it also helps with the pigment of the eyeshadow I find when it goes onto something, when it goes onto a base. And you probably all know that I use my MAC paint pots religiously because they're the only things really that I've found that work for me as a base for my eyeshadow. Anything that I've used from the cheaper end of the scale hasn't ever worked um, it doesn't really I've not really found one that does just does what I want it to do yet until I found this this is something that is raved about on YouTube and people's blogs it's something that I've wanted to try for a long time and then I picked it up and didn't use it for ages because I was still using my MAC paint pots and I just thought I don't really want to open something else this is such a good eyeshadow primer. You need the tiniest amount of it, and it kind of, in consistency, is the same as the Urban Decay one. It just makes my eyeshadow stay on so well. Like, it, last night, I had my eyeshadow on all, all day, and I'd been, you know when you forget that you wear makeup and you kind of like mess with your eyes and things, I'd been doing that all day, and then I, I got to the point where I was taking my makeup off last night and I was looking in the mirror and my eyeshadow was still so pigmented. It still had the same amount of sparkle and pigment that it had when I first applied it and I fully fully think that it's down to this I haven't changed the eyeshadows that I use this is the only thing I've changed and I am so impressed with it I've then got a couple of lip products to talk about and it's the combo that I'm wearing today this is something that I've been reaching for nearly every day when I've just wanted something on my lips but not not anything that's too bold or that takes too much time, something that I can just put on and not have to worry about during the day. First I start with a MAC lip liner in the shade Subculture. It's just a beautiful nude toned liner. I've just swatched it there on my hand for you. And I bought this because it was actually what I wore on my wedding day. My makeup artist just used this to line my lips and it's just a really subtle liner because it is so nude, it just, it's quite similar to my actual lip colour, so it just makes them look a little bit fuller and a little bit bigger, and I just really like it. So I've been using this all over my lips, even, it works beautifully just to line them, but I've using, been using it all over them. And then on the top of that, I've been using the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 06. So this is the more brownish colour that they do. They do peach ones and pink ones. I think there's even like a deep purple now. Um, I put off buying this for so long because 
I saw so many people talking about them, but I'm just not a real lip gloss, lip balm fan. I just don't, just don't tend to wear things like that. And then I kept hearing them talked about and I just thought, I'm just gonna have to try them. So I bought this and I bought this in France actually and this is such a beautiful shade. They taste and smell amazing, like vanilla, but beautiful. And they just glide on, they're not sticky. It's what I have obviously on top of the lip liner today. And it just, they just sit really beautifully. I think these will be amazing for brides. I actually want to do a, not really a bride tutorial, but some kind of wedding makeup appropriate um, makeup look. And I want to use this because it's just beautiful, even though I think a pink one would be really nice. Um, and I just really like it. It doesn't go crispy or crusty like lots of lip glosses can do. It's a kind of sponge, applicator really easy to use and it's just something that you don't need a mirror to apply and you don't need to worry about it going horrible throughout the day it just wears off and leaves my lips looking really nice um so this has been my go-to lip combo this month and i've really been enjoying this the next couple of things that i want to touch you about are nail varnishes and these are by sally hansen and they're the miracle gel formula nail varnishes so here i've got the top coat which is the one that comes in the black and it's number 100 and then the the shade that I want to talk to you about is 640 Totemly Yours and it's just that kind of minky nude brownie pink tone that everyone seems to be wearing at the moment and I bought these quite a while ago and I've used them a couple of times and it was only last week or a couple of weeks ago when I wore them that I was absolutely blown away by how long they last. Um, I use my Sesh Feet top coat non-stop like every time I paint my nails I use Sesh Feet as a top coat and my nails chip so easily no matter what nail varnish it is they do last okay um but just not as well as they do when I use this combo and I do kind of think it's down to this top coat varnishes that are give that gel effect without actually being gel nail varnishes you need two coats of this one coat of that you don't even have to mess around with the base coat they last so well I love the color of this one it's so beautiful and I just think they're amazing. I think they're about £10 each which is obviously a little bit more of the at like higher end of the price range for nail varnishes but compared to Essie um, they last so much longer and I would definitely recommend these too. And then the last makeup item that I've got to talk to you about is actually a brush and this is the MAC 221. I featured this in my most recent MAC haul and I am such an advocate of the Real Techniques brushes, the Zoeva brushes, Morphe, that I feel like I would only rave to you about a certain high-end brush if I thought it was worth spending the money on and so far I've, ne I've not come across a brush that is as good as this one in terms of a dupe or something that was cheaper um, that's the same quality. This is as I said the MAC 221. It's a very fine tapered crease brush so it's kind of like I would say that this is like the baby of the 217. It's a slimmer version of the 217, so it's a gorgeous blending brush, but it works so well in the crease of the eye. It's just beautiful for crease work when you just want a little bit more precision than usual, and it blends the colour out as well as applying it beautifully, and I've just loved using this this month for colour in my crease and maybe a little bit in the outer corner as well. I just think it's one of those brushes that could be used for quite a few different things, and it's well worth having in your collection. So the next couple of things I want to talk to you about are kind of more random things. So I want to talk to you about my favourite TV programme at the moment and I don't really watch a lot of TV. I definitely watch a lot more YouTube than I do television and recently we've got into a few different series and one that we're watching at the moment is called Five and I think it's on Sky One. It is so good. It's like a crime thriller um series I think we're on episode six now and it was written by the people that wrote Last Tango in Halifax and Happy Valley which are two of my favorite series that are on BBC One I think and they were written by um they're written by the same pe people and they featured Sarah Lancashire. Sarah Lancashire unfortunately isn't in five but Craig David is so swings and roundabouts um and it's just so good. It's one of those shows where you think you know what's going on but you don't really have a clue but you just want to watch more and it's so so good. We're just kind of getting to the bit now where it's like 
little things are coming out. It's a little bit creepy, but it's not too freaky. Um, and also I wanted to talk to you about some music that I've been really enjoying this month. So I've really been getting into just playing music while I'm doing my makeup and as well as watching YouTube, it's kind of been something that I just like to sit down and do. And this month there have been so many songs that I've just really been loving. So first of all, I just want to throw a little shout out to um, the Little Mix album because even though I feel like it's a real guilty pleasure, I just think they're such an amazing like girl pop group that kind of represents something really good for like teenage girls and I just really like um Love Me Like You Do and Hair. I just can't stop singing them and um yeah. Also saying Pillow Talk. I know it's like the most overplayed song on the radio at the moment but there's a reason for that and I just can't stop singing it. But then I just wanted to mention a few other songs that aren't as mainstream um as those and the first one is um Girl Crush by Little Big Town. It's a song, they're kind of like a country-ish country band. They've got like a little country twang to them. Um, I have to sing every single lyric when I hear that song. Um, and then there's also Lush Life by Zara Larson, who I just can't stop singing. And then the one that I've played every single day this month, and honestly, when it comes on, I'm just like, hands up in the air, like I just want to dance to it and I just, I don't know all the song, all the lyrics to it, I don't, I just don't freaking care, I just can't actually stop dancing to it, I just love it so much. It's one of those songs, it's like um, the, uh, is it the Michael Jackson one that he did with Justin Timberlake? I couldn't stop listening to that either when it first came out and it's Cheap Thrills by Sia. I can't stop dancing to it, I just put it on all the time and I'm just like, yeah. And I just sing along to it, like, like I just want to listen to it every single day. So um, yes, I think that's everything I've got to talk to you about this month. They were kind of random favourites at the end. I've done quite a lot of uni work this um, month. When I say quite a lot, I've probably spent like three days doing it. Um, and I've just, I don't know, it just seems to have flown by again. And next month is my birthday month, which I am very excited about. Um, this month in May I have my last ever final piece of uni work to hand in um, at the end of May the last ever thing that I'm ever going to do for university hopefully if I pass and I don't have to reset anything um, which means that I graduate this year which I can't believe because if you've watched my university story video you will know that I started uni in 2009 so it's been a long time coming um, but hopefully this will be it now so um, yes I hopefully this video you enjoyed and you've seen some bits there that you might like to try yourself I'll leave all the links as usual in the description box please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all very very soon thank you for watching bye